up guys welcome back once again it is me mold so happy to be here with you guys today we are on our clash without walls account guys and we are pushing as y'all know we are moving on up i don't know how high we're gonna go but we are going to try our best to see how high we can go um i'm using barch because barch is the quickest most effective way to farm at low levels because especially if your barracks are upgraded guys then you're gonna have absolutely no problem when it comes to uh, quickly pushing and getting trophies so if you guys are at lower levels in gold honestly even crystal if you're higher than town hall 7 then you can move up pretty quick with barch um, it trains up super quick when you boost and right now guys with the gym boost It's only five gyms to gym all your regular barracks and your spell factory because uh, each one's only one gym so If you guys want to push even if you want to farm like a madman then go ahead boost your barracks Barch is love barge is life absolutely crush it um, you can see with this base, we've taken out all the mortars, so we are going to go after it. There's 23 total available um, trophies for us, and since we are going after trophies, guys, we're not even worried about loot. We kind of want to make our money back with uh, Elixir, but Barch is so cheap that honestly, it doesn't even really matter. Um, so we are moving in. We are taking out this town hall. We are taking out absolutely everything. You can see we're at 98%, and that town hall is going to give us the last two stars. So starting off the video with 23 trophies is awesome, guys. Um, this whole video has a variety of barch. I throw in some goblins, as you can see in that one. And later on, I'm going to throw in some wall breakers just to help us get inside the walls a little bit easier. Um, I've been running into a lot of town hall snipes like this one. You'll see this has 34 total available cups. So yes, I'm going to town hall snipe it. <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys everything that goes into trophy pushing right now because um, at a certain point, I'm going to get high enough where barge doesn't work and I'm gonna have to use um, air troops maybe balloonian at town hall uh, 7 uh, I think you can I don't even know Wh whatever you guys can make fun of me for not knowing when I get balloons um, <clears throat> but because uh, <laughs> I haven't used them the first time I ever started using balloons was at town hall 9 so I don't even remember getting them in the past um, but you can see we went around this base we tried to get that extra percentage I tried to get that extra loot from the collectors and whatnot but we were not able to get the two star on this because it was a town hall 9 with the mortars protected super well and I used to always say that I didn't think that I thought mortars were gonna be the death of Barch and then I was like nah they're not and they're not really at higher levels but down here at lower levels, four mortars absolutely crushes Barch. Um, it completely takes everything out and honestly just makes it super, super hard. So we're going to let this archer continue doing a little bit of work and then we're going to end the battle in just a second. Um, but guys, I want to thank you all for all your support lately. I want to thank you all for uh, everyone who voted on the straw poll. If you haven't, go watch that video. It's the one with the thumbnail that says new series. Go vote on my next series. I'm either going to be doing um, trolling with my new account, so maxing that up to Town Hall 10, just maxing the Town Hall, rushing the crap out of it, and making troll bases, if you guys want to see that kind of stuff. I know Master Rob and some other people do that, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to either. Uh, so if you guys want to see that, go vote on that. If you guys want to see more Clashing Culture, or if you want to see Horse, or if you want to see a uh, another road to champs or chasing champs on my Town Hall 10 account, then we'll do that. But definitely go vote. I'm going to pick it tomorrow. Uh, which is going to be awesome. Uh, super, super excited about that. And I may do the top two. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the top two uh, choices. There are four choices for the series I'm going to be working on. Um, but as you can see, we are crushing this base. We are moving our way in. This is another Town Hall 7. He's got his mortars protected very, very well in the center of the base. But that is not going to stop us. We are going to try our best to get in there. Um, I'm also raiding uh, as quickly as I can, guys. So if I don't have my lightning spells... I'm going to look for a base that I can beat without my lightning spells. Uh, so this one is an example of that. Uh, <clears throat> I took out one, uh, I think I took out a mortar on this one. Or that's in another raid in a second. But for the most part, I don't use my lightning spells unless I have them and I really want to take on a more challenging base. So you can see right here, we're going to go ahead and take out this town hall, which is going to get us two stars. Actually, we took out a building right before that. So we got 52% on this. That wizard just crushed our archers, uh, which completely deflated uh, the raid. But we were able to get two stars. There were 30 available trophies, which is 20 trophies for us. And in the trophy push, that is golden. That is exactly what we were looking for. 
Um, we're gonna let our archers just continue attacking for a little bit and then we are going to end this raid once again guys this trophy push is fun I like doing it um, I'm gonna be trying out some giant healer uh, in a little bit <clears throat> I need to upgrade my barracks to do that so we're definitely going to try and upgrade our barracks in this video so that we can uh, get our healers available so that we can do some giant healer because giant healer is one of my favorite low level attack strategies I love it I love it I love it I love it I love it, I love it. So here we go again. We're going to attack another Town Hall 7. This one I threw in some wall breakers, guys, just to get us in there. You can see they took out that wall right there. We're going to throw in those goblins to get in there and start doing some work. We throw in those other wall breakers. They get in just in time so that we can get into that mortar. Uh, the barbarians and the archers are going to get in there and take out the mortar so that we can start working on that Town Hall. Um, a lot of times I'll try and distract mortar. So you can see this mortar in the bottom right here. I distracted it right there and then it switched back. It's like, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> so a lot of times you guys can deploy troops in a manner that distracts the mortars. Um, you guys are going to love, love the end of this. So I'm going to go ahead and drop off the rest of my archers up there at the top of the base. And we are going to come in, take out that town hall, guys. But it's looking at this point like we're not going to get the 50%, which I really, really want, especially against the town hall 7. Um... I got to get 50% against Town Hall 7, uh, especially with Barch. So you can see right now we're at 42%, guys. We got some archers working our way around. We got that one cannon right there that's almost dead. These archers and the barbarian head in and start working on it. And then look at this. Ha ha! I'm going to lightning spell right here, guys, and get that 50% off of the lightning spell. I think that cannon might have gone down as well, but that was epic. That's exactly what we needed. Got another 20 trophies off of that. We are working our way up in the trophy count, guys. Go ahead and end that battle right there. Not a bad amount of loot either, 60,000 gold. It's slowly building up so that we can upgrade some stuff. But right now we're going to head back to the base and we are going to take a look around um, and see what we can upgrade. Obviously we don't have any walls to upgrade. Um, let me know if you guys want to see some more uh, defensive bases as well that I can try out. I don't know if any of you guys are doing Clash Without Walls accounts, but I think they're fun. So if you want to see more base builds, uh, defensive or trophy bases, let me know in the comments down below. Also guys, leave a like for this series if y'all are liking it because I'm not too sure if you are. Uh, I think it'll be fun once we get up to higher trophy levels. But you can see right here, we are going to upgrade that other barracks so that we can get some healers up in this house. And then we're going to upgrade our bombs as well and then work our way around. Guys, I appreciate y'all. I really do. Um, I'm going to start taking some time to responding to comments. A lot of them are negative sometimes, so I've kind of avoided it. But I'm going to do that more in the future. As always, guys, make sure that you keep calm and you clash on for me, right? I mean that. I love you guys. And as always, peace. See you guys.